a live eating show starting and then it will say you're live and that means you're live okay okay <clears throat> hey right. everybody welcome back to the rob and maria show i'm rob i'm maria all right and today we are so honored to have Catherine Ream, the um, executive director of Special Olympics Pennsylvania, and Diane Sickles, who is, I'm sorry, uh, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> development director of the Northwest Region yes. of Special Olympics. Yes. And also we have Janine Calabrese here today. She is a Special Olympics athlete. Yay. All right. Yay! Yeah, awesome. So, um, folks, I'd just like to, uh, what, um, I'd like to go into, well, just start with Janine. How, uh, Janine, how long have you been participating in the Special Olympics? I have been participating in Special Olympics for over 25 years. I'm 37 years old now, and I started in Special Olympics in grade school. The first sport I participated in was track and field. Wow. Okay. Are you watching the Olympics? Yes. I love track and field. It is awesome. Um, what sports do you participate in now? I participate in several sports throughout the year. My sports are swimming, bocce, bowling, and alpine skiing. I tried powerlifting too in the past. I really don't have a favorite sport. I like them all, and I like all the different athletes and my coaches. They all keep me active, and I like that. That is awesome. Okay. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you were on a billboard for the Special Olympics. What was that for? In 2015, I was on Team USA for Special Olympics World Games in Los Angeles. I was on the aquatics team and earned a gold, a gold and bronze medal in my events. Wow. It was a very exciting time. My family, friends, athletes, coaches, and the Erie community were very excited and supportive. They even put me on a billboard. Nice. That's wow, awesome. that is that is great. I've never I've been an athlete. I've never been on a billboard. <laughs> what gives here, you know? Uh, and again, if I'm not mistaken, every year you are on a TV commercial with Mike Ruzzi, who I know very well, from Erie News. Now for the Special Olympics, what's that for? Mike Ruzzi and I team up for a television public service announcement every year for the Special Olympics Polar Plunge. It's our main fundraiser. Okay. Ath athletes don't have to pay anything to participate or compete in Special Olympics. It's free for all of us. Mike and I have a lot of fun, and we want everyone to come out and punch. It's a blast to get freezing for a reason. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ooh, That's ooh. great. Okay. Um, you're also a global messenger. What, what does that mean exactly? Okay, and I'll share a little bit. Do you, do you want to talk about it, Janine, or would you like me to, to talk about you being the global messenger? Do you want to share what it is? Sure. Or you, you, you want to share? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay, great. As a global messenger, what Janine, she's gone through some classes. And, classes. Yes. And um, <clears throat> now you have, was, did you go away for a weekend to do that? I went to Los, Los Angeles. Okay. Oh. And, and then you are. Games um, in 2015. Yes. Okay. And as a global messenger, you have a mentor. Who is your mentor for that? Is that your mom? Yes. Yes. And so one of your jobs is to go out into the community, and that's why you're here today, is to share the message about the Special Olympics and share to the community how they can support us. And you, you can recruit some volunteers. So we would ask today if there's any volunteers that would like to, they could be a one-day volunteer, they can come in and help coach one of your seasons, which is about eight to 10 weeks. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. And then sometimes it's an hour, an hour and a half a week, depending. Now swimming, how many times a week do you do swimming? Do you do that a couple times a week? Yeah, two, 
Two times? Yes. And bowling is once a week, right? Yes. Okay. And so there is a, v a variety of things. Um, and so we would, we would ask the community if anybody wants to volunteer. And I really love what Janine said about freezing for a reason. <laughs> November 9th is our polar plunge. Right. And those, this year's goal is $150,000. And what is the name of your team? The Incredible Team Janine. Incredible oh, Team Janine. Right. I all, like it. They, oh, you should see their picture. I wish I would have sent a picture over it. Um, they all dress up as the Incredibles. And um, <laughs> last year, if I'm not mistaken, I you were the number one team, correct? Yes. Raising nearly $6,000. Wow. wow. So they, you know, and, and um, Thank you. they were... Uh, the incredible team Janine was very instrumental in having us reach our goal, and and we're we're starting to work on it right now. So, even though it's still warm out, is it warm when you run in that water? Is it warm at, at the plunge when you go in? It, yes, it's typically warm. It's, it? it's typically warmer. Okay, all right. All right. All right. Well, sometimes it is, but sometimes it's freezing, isn't it? Yes. I think yeah. Janine might be saying it's warmer, so she can get people to come and get <laughs> <laughs> get there, it's not really that warm. <laughs> yeah, she, see, she thinks she's fooling us here. No, 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 no. The very, we the know first, what's going on The very here. first year I did it, I ran in just a bathing suit. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, okay. It was so cold. It was so cold. Okay. Well, and we have another tagline, and we say, be cold, get be bold, get cold. So there we like go. That yes. That's a good one. What, um... More specifically, what do you what do you need volunteers for? We, I might be interested. Oh, we absolutely we we have volunteers and and volunteers are the source of the Special Olympics. Absolutely. It has you know if we the, Catherine and I often talk that if we didn't have volunteers we wouldn't have a program and that's right. for sure and yeah. and I have seen since I've been here for the year um, the dedication and the commitment and the true love for the players and the coaches and and the joy and the inclusion that it, it brings to our athletes is amazing so with that said volunteers um we have data entry we have you can come and help with the sport um if, if we need one volunteer for every four athletes that Okay. participate and so um right now we're starting a flag football team and it's oh, just wow. starting up this year and you know if we have 20 people that means we ha we need five uh certified volunteers now there is already a head coach and actually janine's parents have both been coaches over the years haven't they yeah your mom oh, and dad cool. both and um so those are great things and and then we are recruiting, you know, like people to help with the fundraising. If somebody has a talent of fundraising, um, they can team up with myself. I'm the development director and we raise funds. Uh, there, we have a group come in that helps us shred paper. We have a group that comes in, folds, folds clothes. We're making bocce courts. How about that one? We're wow. making, um, wow. we are making, so Janine, have you, are you, have you ever played bocce? Yes. Okay. So we have a unified champion school, champion school program, and we are proud this year to add nine new schools in our region, and I think we're up to 33 now. And where that program is so unique, it's where we go into the schools and there are some um, students with intellectual disabilities and students that go to the school, they team up, and so there are, uh, they team up and play bocce, and so there might be four students with intellectual disabilities, four students from the school, but the two pair up and they're one. And we're making bocce courts this year, and we're saved by doing, making them ourselves, we're saving $50,000 uh, wow. doing that. So we're, we're recruiting a crew to do that. Anywhere from making boxes to stuffing boxes to cutting the pipe, so. Okay, that's awesome. Um, I have a question just for any one of you, it doesn't really matter. Um, when I was in the NWAA moons ago, it was a National Wheelchair Athletic Association, and 
whatever sport you were in, you had to go to a regional event, wherever that was, depending on where you lived. Then if you qualified, you went to nationals. Then if you qualified, again, you could go to some sort of international event. Maybe the Paralympics, maybe Pan Am Games, whatever. Is it the same type of thing for the Special Olympics? It is. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. It is. So we have um, our own teams, and then you go to sectionals, and, um, and then you go on. We have state games. Did you go to states this year, Janine, yes. at Penn State? Yes, I did. And that's, that's a great, fun time, isn't it? Wow, and that's then great. Anybody who qualifies for gold, or anybody who gets gold, then qualify um, for USA Games and then when there's international games. And, and that's what Janine was sharing in 2015, correct? Just yes, when you went. yes, correct. At, and then she um, won the gold medal. How, how exciting is that? that? That's fantastic. The, yeah. Oh, what do you where do you have your medal somewhere? Where do you do you have it at home? Do you have a trophy case? I have it at home, and I also have trophies too. That's I have a box full of medals. Ooh, wow! You need to display those somewhere, huh? You do. You know, don't leave them in a box. Put a hang them up around the living room or whatever. You yeah, couldn't I, to display them. In her. Yeah. yeah. They're all boxed up. Okay. You have a lot of them. I don't know. Oh. That'll probably take over the house. Well, I would well, say. Hey, I know. So what? No. <laughs> I keep them in one in one big giant box. Okay. Well, then yeah, it's, that's good. Good. You won't lose them that way. Janine, are you going to take no, part? No, I won't. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you no, going to take part in the flag football? Flag football. And yeah, that's a new sport this year. You no. didn't sign up for no, that. No, no, I'm not. Okay. no, I did not okay. sign up for that. Well, she does everything else. One, <laughs> you know, a multi-sport athlete. Oh and, well, uh, she does something every season, I believe. Well, so. that's great. We are we are so honored to have you on our podcast, uh, Janine. Um, it's great to see people with disabilities getting involved in athletics and everything, for that matter. But now with the with the Olympics still being on TV, it's great. Uh, to have you on this and to talk about what you've done. I think that's awesome. Okay. One thing I wanted to just add about the Polar Plunge is that it's our 10th anniversary this year nice. and we decided to add a new event. So we've added a 5K run. So if wow. you don't want to jump into the freezing cold water, uh, which some people don't, you can do the 5K run. Wow. So I'm personally signed up to do both. So I'm going to run and then I'm going to jump into the freezing cold water. Now, freeze water. Janine, can she? Can Catherine handle the water, the, the temperature of the water, or is yes. she going to need some help here? Yes. I don't know. Okay, good. Good. She All did right. it. She did it two years ago, I and she did. did. Yeah. And awesome. then, and then she did it in the spring. We had a happy hour plunge, and she um, wasn't even on staff yet, and she was that committed to the Special Olympics. It's very hard not to fall in love immediately. Um, with the athletes, the coaches, the volunteers, the program, um, it's amazing. Well, and, and it almost goes without saying, but I think we should say it anyway. Um, Janine, myself, we are just as much athletes as the Olympians are. Absolutely. And I, some, I think sometimes that gets lost in the shuffle a little bit. Well, at some point, we need to make sure that the Paralympics, which is the Olympics for people with physical disabilities, yes. are held at the same time the Olympics for people without disabilities are held. Uh, uh, someday, I, someday yes. we will get there. Someday we will get there, but there is still so much work that we need to do to make sure that people with all disabilities are at the same table everyone else has. Well, you know, it's not... Too, on, it's, yeah, I, I, yes. Well, I've been... I mean, this is... You're, you're hitting on a spot for me because I've been talking about this for years. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just because we don't get the same media coverage, you know, it's almost like it's a, it's similar to the NBA versus the WNBA yes. kind of thing. Yes. So, all right. Well, thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate oh, it. Right. Catherine Ream, Diane Sickles. Janine Calabrese, our superstar athlete. Yes. Thank you so much for being a part of this. And this is the first of a two-part series. Mm -hmm. So um, Diane and Catherine, you will be back on the 23rd yes. to talk a little bit more.
or about the administrative aspects of the Special Olympics. Yes. So, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you folks. Thank you. We will Thank see you. you on the 23rd. Thanks. See you later. Uh, Rob.